guys, I'm Jess, and today on Be Pop, I'm going to declutter some of my makeup madness. So I just pulled out two of the boxes, which I don't know if I can hold up. This one has all of my blushes in it. This one has all of my highlighters in it. So I just want to go through these two boxes and get rid of things I do not use anymore. So I'm just going to hold everything up and tell you if I use it or if I don't. And most of the stuff I have had for a very long time. So it probably just needs to be thrown out in general because it's old and has bacteria in it. But some of the stuff I'm keeping because I like use it often or I just use it all the time. So yes, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this together. It's gonna be productive. And my battery's about to die. We're just gonna go till the battery dies. That is my idea. Okay. First up, I have the Pirates of the Caribbean. It's the blush and highlighter palette. I use this all the time. I'm keeping it. I haven't even had it for that long. I have a baked blush. This is the Wet n Wild. Should I just zoom in on the product? Okay. This is the Wet n Wild um, Don't Flutter Yourself. I, I use this sometimes. It's more like a highlighter though. I don't know kind of like a highlighter blush situation, I guess. I have an e.l.f. blush palette in light. Let's see. Ooh, I do actually use this one quite a bit, so I'm gonna keep that. I recommend these, they're nice. Let's see, I have a sleek one. I do not use this. I do not use this. The colors do not look good on my skin tone. It says take a cheeky peek. The only color I even kind of used was this one. But this one's too orange. And this one is Sherberty, so it looks weird on my, like, super pale skin. So I don't think I'm going to keep this one. Um, this I have to keep just because of packaging. And I do use it sometimes. Ooh, this is my favorite blush. It is the Essence and Adorable. Yeah, Essence Blush and Adorable. I've hit pan. I'm keeping it because I really, really like it. What do I have here? This blush is from Model Co. And... I don't think I'm gonna keep this. I've had this forever, like literally forever. I think I got an Ipsy bag that tells you how long I've had this. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get rid of it. This Essence blush, I don't like. So I'm not gonna keep it. Um, This is the Dare to Soar Wet n Wild. I, I'm gonna keep that one, but I think it's too dark for me. I'm just gonna keep it. This I won in some sort of giveaway. I never use it. It's really, really bright. <laughs> That's probably why I never use it. I like more like subtle tone stuff. This is a doll tin blush and flirt. I need to throw it away because it's disgusting. <laughs> and I also got that in an Ipsy bag. This is the elf all over stick and pink lemonade. I use this in the $20 challenge, if that tells you anything. So, this needs to go. <laughs> this I'm gonna keep because it has that color bronzer in it I like. I haven't really used it yet, so it should be fine. And then also I do like that blush in there, so I'm gonna keep that. Ooh, I need to use this one more. Look at that, you find things you don't normally use. And this blush I hate from Physicians Formula, there's just no payoff. It looks looks adorable with the hearts, but no payoff. Let's see, this Wet n Wild Ombre has no payoff whatsoever. It's in a purple haze. You know, they got me because of the Ombre situation, but it's not worth it. Um, this is Down Boy by The Bomb. Love it, keeping it. I probably have had it for far too long, but I've definitely made a dent in it. Do you see the dent? Can you see the dent? Love it. So I'm keeping that. I'm keeping this one too <laughs> because it's part of the Disney collection. I cannot throw it away. Um, ooh, I've totally never used this blush, you can tell. I should probably keep that. <laughs> you can tell I've never used it. It's the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Life's a Cherry. And I just kind of put it on my hand. It's very light. Uh, if you go light-handed, it can be fine. So I'm going to keep that. This is a NYX blush stick in Magnolia. 
Is there even a lot in here? Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, I've had this for probably three years. You should keep it a year. <laughs> That's going away. This is the Jordana Blush in Pink Beauty. I never really grab for this. And I know I've had it far too long. This Hot Mama by The Bomb. Love it, keeping it. Probably had it for far too long as well, but I don't care. <laughs> this is the Elf Contouring Blush in Bronzer in St. Lucia. I know I've had this for like four years. <laughs> I'm getting rid of it. I'm doing a really good job with this. I thought this was gonna be really hard for me, but it's actually working out pretty well. Um, I have a Mu Milani. Milani, is that how you say it? In Coralina. Dude, it's like so old. I'm just gonna save my face. Then I have a Tarte Blush in Magic. I'm gonna get rid of this because it doesn't really show up. It got weird. Do you see the weirdness that's happening? I don't know. I just need to get rid of that as well. I have another Wet n Wild Ombre. It got me with the packaging blush that sucks. So this one is the Princess Daiquiri's. The last one I have is this blush. I do really like it. I got it from an Ipsy bag. <laughs> it's the Pandora's Face Pink Carnation blush and I really like it. So I'm gonna keep that. Boom. I went through that whole box. I'm very proud of myself. Now highlighters. That's gonna be way harder. You just gotta be strict. You gotta go in and say, does this um, bring me joy? If it doesn't, get it out of your life. So, now highlighters. Which I feel like I have way more highlighters than I have blushes. Wet n Wild Skull Highlighter, which, what is this called? Loose Highlighting Powder. I don't even know if it has a name. I'm keeping it because I love it. Rainbow Highlighters. Why do they do this? Does anyone, like, grab these all the time? If you do, let me know down below. I just don't. This is the, it doesn't even say, Everlasting Glow. I never grab it. Cindy Luminizer, I'm keeping, but it always breaks. See, it's like currently broken. I don't know. I do like it though, but it always breaks. So I don't, I don't bring that one with me when I travel. I have Mary Luminizer in my everyday bag because I love it. Then I have Precious Petals from Wanton Wild. I'm wearing it today, so keeping. This, I, I'm not keeping this. It is the Big blush and hummingbird hype. It's so bronzy, like it doesn't work on my skin tone. Not keeping, keeping this one. It's from the, the Gotho Graphic Collection. What is it called? Purple Ashes, keeping it. I don't really use it very often, but I really like it if I'm feeling for like a purpley all over look. I have a sleek highlighting thing, which I'm gonna keep. That's what it looks like. It is in Solstice, keeping that. Then I have another highlight from Went Wild, the White Raven, also part of the Gothographic collection, keeping. I probably need to get rid of this. <laughs> it is the Physician's Formula Nude, I don't know which one it is, Warm Nude, but I've had this forever. I've done like a just one look with this, like just using this one product. It's a good product. I highly recommend it, but I've literally had these forever. This is the neutral nude. And then I have the Wet n Wild Lilac to Reality. I'm keeping this one because I really do like it for like summer and stuff. Oh my God, look, look at this. I just, I need to throw this out. It's like I've hit major pan. The lid doesn't even come off anymore. Like the lid doesn't go on anymore. It just like came off and it's the Wonder Woman compact because I really like that bronzer. But now I'm using my Lisa Frank bronzer instead. So I'm just gonna throw it in the trash, get rid of it. This is a Bare Minerals The Love Affair Illuminizer. I don't need it in my life. Had it for ages. Have the Wet n Wild Rainbow Highlighter. I'm not keeping that. I never use it. Also the bronzer, not keeping that one either. Never use it. This cushion contour, 
wasn't worth the hype. <laughs> I'm just so brutal sometimes. Um, this, I might keep the Illuminator, this one. I, that one was decent. I don't really grab it though. No, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not keeping it, it doesn't bring me joy. Also, I'm getting rid of this because I don't really use it. It's the Wet n Wild Color Con Reserve Your Cabana. I don't even, I think it's a powder, I don't know. I don't, I don't use it, I'm getting rid of it. I'm just going for it, yo. Baked, I used to love this. I think I used this like all the time, like three years ago, three or four years ago. But I never use it anymore, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. I also have an NYC bronzer. I used to use this all the time. Like, I hit pan on it. I haven't opened these in forever. I have one that's not even opened. I'm just gonna toss it because I know these are at least three years old, if not four years old. Maybe five years old, I don't know. When did I start this channel? <laughs> that's how old it is. I have a Tarte Park Avenue Princess, which I don't think I ever used. I, I did use it, but I didn't like it. It wasn't very pigmented. Sorry, Tarte, not keeping it. Ooh, this is a highlighter from that vanity. It's something vanity, I don't know. I did like a whole review, she's on Etsy, but it's very nice, so I'm keeping that. Then I have a stick highlighter. It's a Pocahontas one. I didn't really use it. I don't really like cream highlighters. I'm very much a powder girl. I'm gonna get rid of it, it's kinda gross. <laughs> then I have a Lisa Frank. I think this is actually a shadow that I use as a highlighter. It is the Picnic, oh it's just called Picnic, Shimmer Eyeshadow, the Lisa Frank collection. That never came, like tons of people go on my video that I did about the Lisa Frank stuff and I got this stuff right here and they asked me, hey, did you ever get the rest of it? No, it's never come. I paid a hundred dollars for all of it because I wanted all the stuff and I haven't gotten anything. All I've gotten is this. The bronzer, did I get a brush? I think I got a brush, I never used a brush. But yeah, I don't even know what to say. They haven't even updated the Kickstarter since September. So I don't know if they just stole tons of people's money or what, but it's not cool. And that's the end, I'm so proud of myself. I have way less makeup now. <laughs> I will um, maybe take a little shot so you guys can see what this looks like. So I want to give you guys a shot of my perspective. So these are the highlighters I'm keeping right here. Just these. And these are the blushes I'm gonna keep. This is my throwaway pile. Not including any of this stuff. <laughs> just, just this here. So that's a lot. Like I'm proud of myself. Go me. But thank you for hanging out with me during this declutter. If you guys wanna see more declutter videos because I definitely have like eyeshadows, um, you know, lip products. Like I have all the rest of my stuff to declutter. So if you guys want to see more in this series, leave me a comment down below. Let me know you like this series and to continue it. And also if you like it, give it a big thumbs up. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. You can find me here on social media and check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos and click that button below to subscribe. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.